Good morning from Austin, Texas. Scott Gordon, Open Mortgage, bringing a weekly message to you. Well, I'm out in my front patio, front porch, and I love this time of day. The whole front porch is still shaded. The sun is coming up behind the house. This afternoon, this patio is going to be 103 and baking hot. It's a stone floor, stone walls, and it becomes an oven out here. But the good news is, through the house in the back, our back patios are covered, outdoor kitchen, barbecue area, and they will all be in the shade. Now our house, the street isn't over there. The street is to the south. But when we built the house, we faced it west so that all the patios would be in the shade in the afternoon. And that is thinking ahead. Now if you want to grow your business, you need to think ahead in terms of communication. You've probably heard these messages before, but they're the kind of message that I think you need to hear again and you need to practice. You know, I was an engineer for 20 years and you don't just learn to write software. It's an art and you keep becoming better at it. And your business in sales is the same way. You don't just learn to sell. It's something you craft over time. And in fact, you guys are kind of like engineers that you're not just selling, you're also solving problems. That's what engineers do, solve problems. Well, on this communication idea, I wanted to remind you about the benefit of proactive communication. You want to take control. You can be proactive and call your borrowers, or you can wait until they are fed up and want to know what's going on, and they call you, and then you're reacting. Obviously, proactive communication is better. It helps you control your time. One thing you need to remember, if you're going to call them when events happen in a loan, Sometimes you're going to call them every day. Sometimes you don't need to call them for four days. Set expectations with them ahead of time. Okay, I think I have everything I need. I'm probably not going to have any news for you for a week. So I will touch base with you on Friday. I'll, I'll call you if I have anything before then. Be sure they know so that they don't feel like, what happened? I haven't heard from my loan officer. Is there a problem? On Fridays. I would do good news calls. This is an idea from Phil Rich, I and mean, he can tell you more about it. Good news calls are end the week on good news. Call your vendors, stay in touch, make sure you know what's going on. But for your borrowers, call and give them the update and tell them how great everything is going. That way, when they go into that stretch of the weekend, especially the weekend when they're not working every day, they're at home, they have time to think, they have time to worry, well, you called them on Friday told them how great it's going so they can relax and feel good on the weekend. There's another advantage of proactive control of calling is that you're going to receive less calls from them and it allows you to take control of your time better. So I think the two big benefits are the customer experience has improved and you get to control your time better. The, the customer experience improved will get you more referrals and controlling your time better gives you more time to be building your network. And remember, those are the two things you always want to be doing is growing your network of people who can refer loans to you and staying in touch with the people already in your network. So, I know this week's message is a repeat and you've heard it all before, but I'm reminding you, you need to think about it every week. It's a craft. It's like sales or engineering. You don't just know how to do it. You need to continually working on improving at it. And that's what will grow your network and grow your success. So from Austin, Texas on a sunny but still cool Saturday morning of Labor Day weekend, I say here's to a great September. Things are really looking good. I hope you're having a good month. And if you need anything, contact us at corporate. By the way, if you have any feedback on my videos, be sure and comment or send me an email. I'm happy to hear from you.